Hi, I'm Kale. Hi, I'm Ashley. And, and this, this is, is Rope, Rope TV. TV. Welcome to Rope TV. A special hello to everyone watching us right now on Facebook Live. If you're watching, make sure you comment so we know you're there. We like to think outside the box that rope. And a great example of this was a recent makeover session we were given by local stylist Leanne Zimmerman. I'm Jamie from Rope TV. We are here today at Styling Station with Leanne. Leanne, how are you? I'm really good, Jamie. I'm very excited to be here with you. Why are we here today? We are here today at Styling Station to style you up in three different outfits. Casual, work, and evening fun. Uh, we're a sustainable fashion hub. Um, all of this, this clothing that you can see around us, it's all been saved from going to landfill. It's all brand new. Um, and you can come to Styling Station, have a styling session for yourself and take home your outfit. How did the idea come about? Uh, there was just a massive need in our community. Um, and we knew that there was all this fashion that was actually going to waste. Um, so this is how the, the idea came about, that we decided we would run styling sessions, really um, help women in our community to uh, improve their self-esteem uh, and their bo body positivity uh, and, and save all of this clothing from ending up as environmental waste. What's your connection with Rope? I was very lucky to be included in Rope's first launch of their merchandise, which is coming up very soon, not yet. <laughs> and I styled up all the fabulous people down there at Rope, and the fun was so fun. A whole day of fun with these people. So good. I have been in fashion for decades. Sounds old, right? I'm not. Well, a little. I love fashion, it is who I am, and I'm very excited to do style you up today. So I think we should get started. So Jamie, I was thinking on these pieces. How are we finding these? Yeah, they look good. And I, what I love about these pieces is that they have a bit of stretch in the fabric, which is what we definitely need. Yeah. That just makes it for comfort. And then you're gonna have a nice little layering top and this jacket. How good is this? Mm, that feels good. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I love that piece. And we can just put pop even like back with jeans, just a little white t-shirt underneath, and then it's perfect as well. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So we're really excited. Jamie's just gone in to try on her first outfit. It's something different for her, which is what we try, I try to promote. I like people to push their boundaries in their fashion so we don't always stay the same. Yeah. Yeah. How good, do you like it? Is yeah. it a bit big? I think that was the smallest one we had. I like it. Okay, so for our next outfit, Jamie, I'm thinking these nice pants, again with a bit of stretch, nice detailing. Wearing the top, the same top, so we're using what we already have. And with a nice little lace jacket over the top, just for a bit of arm. So this would be great for work, because sometimes in the air conditioning, get a bit cold, this would be great. And then actually, if you go out for drinks after work, which we all like to do. Yeah. Okay, so for our third outfit is our pop of colour. I like it. Yeah, that looks good. And some nice bit of glam, bit of sequence, and stretch again. Wow, this is amazing. What a fun time we had. Yeah, thank you for your help. Very welcome. That looked a whole lot of fun. Hey Ashley, what have you got there? Well, Kale, 
I saw this plan in the studio lobby tonight and it just reminded me of how much I love gardening. It's funny you say that because the rope garden is a very special project for some of our participants. We usually plant all different things in this garden bed. So this is the first time we've planted flowers. Before that we had vegetables in it. You just finished planting one? Yeah. Well, for a lot of them, when we're gardening, they say that it's therapeutic. So Cassie, for instance, loves weeding. <laughs> Believe it or not, she said it helps her relax. I, I do suffer from anxiety and panic attacks and that usually helps me to um, settle it, settle it down. Like pulling the, the nut grass out and try to like dig right in to pull it, like get it all out. Yeah, so she just likes chilling out in the garden, outdoors, and sometimes she'll play a little bit of music, so, so will the other guys, you know, just on, in her headphones or on a speaker. And um, yeah, they just like hanging out in the garden. It's definitely um, improved my life ever since I st um, started here. Good, I've been doing a bit of gardening. It's nice to see the flowers and when it comes up. Working together in a group like this is kind of mind-blowing. And the goal here is just helping the guys out and helping them doing all this stuff out there, so out here, so yeah. Yeah, the guys love it, so it's good to see them doing something and then, you know, watching the progress of it every week when they come in. Yeah, and keeping up the maintenance on it makes them feel good about it and yeah they, they all learn heaps you know they might not do these things at home so they do it here and then a lot of the time they'll go home and you know start doing their own little projects at home. I do have a garden at home but my mum helps me with the home, home stuff. We lay, they've learnt about why we lay mulch around the flowers or whatever it is we're planting to keep the moisture in and, you know, stop weeds growing through. Yeah, just all the little basics about gardening. Yeah. It's time to put the spotlight on one of Rote's participants. Laura has been at Rote for seven years. She, she's part of the My Future program and also receives one-to-one -one support in the areas of in-home and community. I really like working especially with Laura because it's never the same day. It's really cool because I really enjoy like, I don't know, it's just like small things that I get to like help someone out with. And I talk about my job just all the time with everybody. Like, cause I love it. Like I talk about Laura all the time, actually, because I hang out with her so much. Welcome to the show. It's a cooking show. What are we going to cook? Beans and carrots. We're cooking beans and carrots? Yes. Okay. Yes. All about yes. healthy things? Yes. Not bad things. No sugar? No sugar. Definitely not. Not that healthy. Only sometimes. Only sometimes as a treat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I really like working here. When we're in the car, yes. Laura likes to listen to really good music. Yes. Yeah. She's into yes. um, Kesha. And we always play, we always play Spotto in the car. That's something Laura's And Green Ant. Ant. And Green Ant. Do you, should we give an example yeah. of what we do? So let's yeah. say like I'm driving along. Let's say. I'm Spotter. driving away. Yes, yeah, Spotto. Green Ant. 
So that's the motion. While I'm driving, if she says spotter, I say spotter. We have to do that with that noise yeah. every single time. Every single time. Yeah. And now I do it like when I'm not with Laura. It <laughs> just happens. <laughs> Because I'm a master bu building. You're a master of building? Why do you like um, doing puzzles? You've told me before. Because I really like it. It's a little bit calming down. Yeah. No stress. Yeah. Just calm the personal space. Would you say, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good are your puzzles? Um, amazing. Amazing. Yes. Out of a scale of 1 to 10, you're amazing? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah and I'm really flexible. <laughs> the day with Laura is really cool. I enjoy Hanging out with Laura, yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. oh that's like the best thing, yeah. seeing them improve. It's yeah. just, it's like the best thing. That brings us to the end of this episode. What did you think, Ashley? I loved it, but I also like to know what everyone at home thinks. Make sure you put your comments below and don't forget to like and share this video. You can also subscribe to Rope TV on YouTube. That way you'll never miss an episode. See you next time.